Hey YouTube, how we doing today? Well, I'm a huge baseball fan. Spring training is kind of in its downside right now. The regular season's about two weeks away as of filming this video. And I figured, why not bring a baseball book to the channel? You know, I barely remember Aubrey Huff when he was with the Orioles. I just remember he was a pain in the ass as a devil ray. And he won two World Series with the San Francisco Giants. So stay tuned after we roll this intro, we're going to take a look at one of our very first baseball books on the channel. Alrighty guys, so thanks for staying past that opening. This is the first baseball book I'm bringing to the channel. Um, as you saw, it's Baseball Junkie by Aubrey Huff. Now, I got I got to preface it like this. I bought it because it's baseball player being honest. It's not an autobiography written by anybody. Um, it's not about, you know, oh my God, I was so dirt poor. I used to play baseball with a cardboard box. And look at me, I'm a billionaire. This is an honest look at Aubrey Huff's life in general. Now, I remember Aubrey when he was a Devil Ray, and he was a pain in the ass to my Red Sox. I really don't remember his time when he got traded to the Tigers. He was there for a small little run. Basically, he didn't play. And I really remember him with the San Francisco Giants. You know, he was the first baseman on two World Series winning teams. Now, the junkie part, I didn't know this. He was addicted to Adderall. It wasn't prescribed to him. He got it inside the clubhouse from a teammate. He wouldn't mention the name. And as he put it, it opened up a whole brand new world to him. You know, the ballpark looked incredible, like it was in high def. You know, his senses were higher. He could smell the hot dogs in the stands. He could hear people cheering a lot more. He was more focused at the plate. So he kept taking Adderall. That, according to him, he got a doctor to prescribe to him afterwards. Even though he really didn't need it, the doctor was like, well, you've been taking 20 milligrams, how about 40? And there were some days, as Aubrey put it, he was up to 100 milligrams a day, and he was hooked on the stuff. It's very detailed about how <clears throat> it played hell with his marriage, and he's very honest in there about a drinking problem that he had. So when you mix at least 10 to 14, you know, as he puts it, Bud Lights a night with Adderall and a baseball player's lifestyle on the road, it doesn't cause for happy things to happen to your marriage. Hell, it wouldn't cause for anything to have happy things in anybody else's home when a guy's taking pills that aren't prescribed to him and he's drowning his sorrows in beer instead of doing the things he's supposed to do. He's very honest about how his wife treated him and how she was giving him, you know, daily drug tests that she'd buy at Rite Aid or Walgreens or Walmart. And Aubrey was very honest in saying how he got around him. He was buying piss from clean neighbors. He got clean because of his family. He got clean because of his kids. And he got clean because he turned his life around and put faith in, as they say, a higher power. In this case, it was God. I think it's a very, very touching book. And I got to be honest, like in the foreword, when he has some of his former players, I should say former teammates, talking about it, I just, like the one from Kevin Millar, as a good friend and ex-teammate of Aubrey's for nearly three seasons, I saw firsthand his fun-loving, carefree attitude in the clubhouse. I couldn't believe the story I was reading was the same guy. Absolutely shocking, uncomfortable, sad, and hilarious all at the same time. Because i got to tell you, honestly, reading in here, it's exactly what Millar said. And if you know Kevin Millar, if you watch MLB Network, someone probably helped him write that forward. But, you know, I think if you want a good, a good read about a baseball player's life, his destruction and his redemption, that's where you want to go. And sorry for my phone constantly beeping. Red Sox are playing right now, so, you know, I'm getting constant updates, and it's pretty important to me, so sorry for the beeping, guys. Um, 
Let me know what you think on this, you know, what I said down below. Any questions, comments, whatever, I don't care. Throw them out there. I want to hear them. You know, if you're a first-time viewer of the channel, I want to thank you so much for watching. You should be seeing the symbol pop it up, I think, over here or over there. Not sure where I'm going to put it on these. That's going to be the company emblem. Go ahead and click on that. That's going to bring you right to subscribe. Once you've clicked on subscribe, please click on the bell icon. That's going to alert you every single time we upload a video. Speaking of videos, we're going to put two either on this side of the screen or that side of the screen. Those are going to be ones that YouTube's going to randomly select from, you know, my catalog of videos that they think is going to be a good viewing experience for you. <coughs> but, you know, that's what I got, guys. I just want to thank you so much for listening to me talk about a baseball book. And like I said, if you want a good read on a baseball book, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have an incredible day.